Hi, welcome to Cure Aerobics and Toning. Um, this is the third video that I'm doing for this type of class since we've been staying at home and staying safe. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're coming back again, thank you for coming back again and welcome to you as well. Um, this class is a little more active than the cheer yoga class. If you've done the cheer yoga class with me, this one is a little bit more movement. Um, I am going to do things a little bit differently today. Um, I am going to add some resistance to the toning part of the class. Now, normally we use resistance bands in the class, but I'm not going to be using that. I want you to use stuff from around your house. If you happen to have light hand weights, then that would work fine. I wouldn't go over two pounds. Um, but otherwise, if you've got things like canned beans or tomato sauce, um, these cans are 15 and 15.5. A, a pound is 16 ounces. So that would be a good um, can um, amount. This is vitamin water, this is 20 ounces, so this is a little bit more than a pound. Most regular water bottles are about a pound. So see what you've got around your house and, and use that. I do happen to have some um, ankle weights that I'm just kind of curled up and I'm gonna use, this is about a pound and a half that I'm gonna be using. The other thing that we're gonna use at the end is a tennis ball. Now, if you don't have a tennis ball, if you've got some other kind of rubber ball, you can use that. Um, if you don't have that, then you can take a pair of socks. Now, these socks are too cushy, okay? They're thicker. You would think thicker would be better, but it's not. Um, you want to take a little bit thinner pair of socks, but, you know, these have a little bit of length to them, and you want to roll them really tightly to kind of make the ball that we're going to use later. We're going to be putting this under our foot and doing some massaging to our foot to help us with uh, some things. So it would, would it has to be a tight ball like that. So go ahead, pause the video if you need to, and grab your weights and grab your ball or your roll of socks or something that's round that you can use. Um, you don't have to use anything if you don't want to, um, but you've got those options. All right, so as usual, you need a sturdy chair to be sitting on with a nice high, well, not a super high back, but a back high enough to support you. And we are gonna get started. And our warm up is gonna be our usual warm up. I just want you to start with the march. Give me a heel dig. Heel, heel. Sitting up nice and tall. Navel's in just to support your spine. Back against that chair. Roll it back, elbow high. Now again, if you want to make this a little bit more intense, you can do this standing up. Eight more, eight. Three. Bigger, smaller, up and around. I mean, bigger, slower. Up and around, up and around. Four more. Three, two. Tap and point the toe. Good, eight more. Four. Three, two, roll it forward, elbow high. Keep that toe going. If it gets to be too much, keep the arms going and keep the feet still. Eight more, eight. We're warming up from the top to the bottom. Four, three, two, bigger, slower. Up and around, up and around. Breathe out, up and around, up and around. Four more, and three. And two, good, shoot the basket. Shoot, 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 shoot. Four, three, slow it down. Two will reach and reach. Two more, reach, 
reach it corner to corner and reach and reach and reach and reach four more and reach right from that rib cage two more good reach it forward straight out arm and legs coming straight out of the body four more three two now we're going to take that reach across twisting as far as you're comfortable if you've got disc issues or stenosis don't take that twist so far just make it on an angle one more take it sideways keep the shoulders in line with each other one more other side and reach and reach and reach one more other side now reach and pull other side reach pull good now just take it side to side shoulders down pull the navel in Tap that imaginary wall. Reach, 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 reach. Let's go into your back, flat back forward. Take it four, three, two, roll it up. Four, three, take it forward. Four, three, two, bring it back. Four, three, two more. Four, three, two, roll it back. Four. Once more and four. Bring it up. Roll through your torso. Around. Around. Go the other way. Like right, sitting on that imaginary clock. Roll through the numbers. Go the other way, roll, and roll. Two more, pull the right back, hip back, pull it back, pull it back, left, and right, it's very small, keep your shoulders still. Four more. Last one, good, now up over that rock, little step up and over, Rock's taller than it is wide right now. Keep going, four more. I'm just gonna make this a little bit wider. I feel like I'm giving a yell. Good, now make it bigger. Bigger. Over the stool, four. And three, and two. Good, knees straight up, up. And up, and up. Sitting tall, let that chair support you. Push down to lift up. Push down to lift up. Two more. Good, lift the knee, open the gate. Lift, open, close. Other side. Lift, open, close. Other side. Lift, open, close. One more time. Lift, open, just open and close. Open, pull, open, pull. Two more, open, pull. Other side, open, pull, open, pull. Two more, breathe out. Good, extend the legs straight up. Push that back into the chair. Push that foot into the ground, opposite. Four more. Two more. Good, now lift and extend that leg long. Extend that leg long. Breathe out, breathe out. Four more. Two more. Good, now hold it out there. Lift, hold. Feel that muscle engage. Little lift, up, up. Keep lifting, up, up, up. One more. Good, now roll the ankle. 
go the other way. Point and flex, point and flex, and point and flex. Two more. Good, other foot, press into that wall, lift, hold. Little lift up, breathe out, breathe out. Four more. Two more. Good, roll the ankle around. Four, three, two, other way. And four, three, two, point and flex. Two more. Good, now heels and wrists. Keep going. Now roll the wrists, lift, lift, go the other way. Good, make a fist, lift the toes, lift the toes. Shoulders down and relax. Just try to move those wrists. You got something like you're holding it in your hand, but you're not squeezing it. One more. Good. Now tap the toes. Roll that wrist. Go the other way. Out, 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 out. Good. Shake it out for a second. All right, let's open and close the hands. Open. Close, open, close, open, close. Good, keep going. Open, squeeze, breathe out as you squeeze. Four more, four, and three, and two. Chin to chest, take it down. Up to neutral, down. Up to neutral, two more, down. And up, one more, down, and up. Turn it right, right, center, left, center. One more each side. Ear to shoulder. Keep the shoulders down, just move your head. Four more, then our warm up is done. Two more. Good. March it out. March. All right. Some of this music is going to be a little bit of a challenge. All right. So we're going to go into more of a combination today. The last couple of classes, I've just done a couple of moves strung together. This is going to be a little bit more dancey, if you will. A little more memory work, too. All right, give me two heel digs. Heel and heel. Heel and heel. Now I'm going to give you an elbow back. Elbow back. Elbow back. Again. Now just single heels. Good. Now both arms pull back. So it's double heel, one arm, double pull, single heels, both arms pull. Now let's go back to that double heel, pull it back. Two more. Singles, pull it back. Four, three, double heel again. Singles, both arms, four, three, Two, double heel, double heel, singles both arms. Good, double heel again. All right, just give me the singles just to get back with the beat. Eight more. It's a lot harder to mix music than you'd think. All right, double heel, pull. Singles, four. Three, two, double heel. One more time, then I'm going to do move on. Single heels. Four, three. All right, four taps out to the right. Four, three, two, other side. Four, three, two. Now lift your knees up. Right and left. And just pull.
pull the arm up. We're going to do that again. Four taps out. Four, three, two, other side. Four, three, two, single knees up. Right, I'm going to break this apart. Four taps. Four, three, two, left knee up. Four, three, two, four taps out to the left. Four, three, got it? And single knees, right. Four taps out. Four, three, two, left knee up. Four, three, two, tap out. Four, three, two, knee up left. Four, three, two. Good, I'm sorry, I said left. My left, you're right. My bad. Sometimes it's not easy to be in your mirror. So I'm gonna put these two together now. Double heel. Singles. Four, three, two, double heel again. Pull back right. Singles, both arms pull back. Good, four taps over. Four, three, two, single knees. Four, three, two, four taps. Four, three, two, single knee. Right, let's do that much again. Double heel, pull. Single heels, pull. Double again, pull. Single heels, four. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Four taps, four, three, two, knee up. Four taps, knee up. Good, and march. All right, we're gonna add to that. And the first part is gonna be marching. We're gonna march wide for four, narrow for four. Here we go. Four, three, two, bring it in. Four, three, two, take it out. Bring it in, take it out. So this is the first part of the, set, the next star up uh, part. Kick, kick. Kick, 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 good. Now we're gonna kick again, make it more of a soccer kick. Swoop it, swoop it. So you're lifting your ankle to the ceiling, stay up tall, kick straight again. Soccer kick, swoop, swoop, swoop. Straight kick. My arm's just going opposite, straight, and then I'm kind of bringing it across, chopping it. All right, march it out. Four, three, two, bring it in. Take it out again. Bring it in. Heel digs. Not heel digs, kicks. Soccer kicks. I'm reading, sorry. <laughs> Take it out wide. Bring it in. Take it out wide. Bring it in. And kick. Now the music's a little slower, so make it bigger. Soccer kicks, swoop. All right, can we do all three of those now? Double heel dig. Singles. Four, three, two. Double heel on the right again. Pull, left. Singles, both arms. Four, three. What comes next? Four taps. Four, three, two. How many you got there? Knees up. Four, three, like yellows. Four, that's why you're here. <laughs> Knees up, four, three, two, march it wide. Bring it in, take it wide, bring it in, kick, four, three, two, soccer kick, four, three, two, march it wide one more time, out. Bring it in, take it out, then I got one more part. Bring it in, kick straight, Soccer kick, swoop, swoop, swoop. Heel digs. Toe tap, stomp, push, push, push. Heel digs. Toe taps. Good, and march. All right, 
That's the first half of the next part. Next part, we're gonna do a V step. So we're gonna start off with that wide march, narrow march, and I'm gonna cut it down and cut it down from there. All right, so take it out, bring it in, take it out, bring it in. Now listen, out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. And my arms are just following my feet. And now I'm gonna make more of a V on the floor. Forward and back. Smile and fake it if you don't get it. This one can be tricky for some people. Okay, one more after here. Good, now just stomp, 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 stomp. So I'm gonna combine the V step and the stomp. In four, three, two, V step, two times. Forward and back again. Now stop. Four, three, two, V step. And stop. All right, I'm gonna put this with the heel digs. Heel dig. Four, three, two, toe tap. Four, three, two, V step. One more. And stomp. Did you get it? We're gonna do it again. And heel digs. Push, 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 toe tap. V step, forward, forward, back, back, and stomp. All right, who remembers the beginning? Double heel, pull, pull, singles. Let me get back with the beat. Give me eight more, and then we're gonna go from the beginning. Four, three, two, double heel. Single heels. Four, three, two, double heel, pull back. Single heels. Tap out four. Four, three, two, knee lifts. Four, three, Two, tap out. Four, three, two, knee lifts. Four, three, two, march out wide. Four, four, three, two, bring it in. Take it out. Bring it in. Kick. Forward. Soccer kick. Swoop it. Single heels. Push it away. Toe taps. Push down. V step, forward, forward, back, back, stomp. Did you get it? We're gonna do it one more time. Double heel, single heels, pull, 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 double heel, double heel, single heels, pull. And tap out four, four, three, two, knees up, four, Three, two, tap up four, four, three, two, knees up, right? March it out wide, bring it in, take it out wide, bring it in, single kicks, push. Soccer kick and swoop, 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 heel digs. Toe taps. Push, 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 V step. Forward, forward, back, back. Stomp. And march it out, good, did you get it? It's the beauty of video, you can do it again. Later, tomorrow, whatever. So you perfect it, which you don't need to do. Smile and fake it. All right, let's take a big breath in. And out. Again, and out, good, one more, and out, good, that was about 10 minutes, let's take a flat back, and we were doing the cardio, it was about 10 minutes, heart rate might be up, 
So make sure your head's above your heart and you're taking deep breaths here, just getting a stretch to your back. Now remembering for next time, if your back was starting to bother you, you can take this stretch at any time during the class. Roll it up and flat back again, inhale, exhale, roll it up. Let's do one more and roll it up. All right. All right, so we're gonna use those cans or weights or whatever you've got or nothing at all for resistance. If you're not using any extra resistance, imagine that you're moving your arms through water and you feel that water's resistance as you're pulling your arm through the water and as you're pushing your arm down the water. So just imagine that in your head. Otherwise, get your cans or your water bottles. Make sure they're the same weight um, on each side. And we're gonna do some combination moves for our arms. You wanna sit up nice and tall, so I'm gonna show you the movement without the weight so, so that you see what it is before I put the weight into my hands. So you're gonna take it up and in and out and down. Okay, so it's side and center, and side, and down, all right? Side, shoulders down, so make sure your shoulders stay down. And down, one more slow one. Lift, and center, push your back against the chair, pull your navel in. All right, we're gonna go to tempo. Up, in, out, down. Now this is why I've got you doing lighter weights because we're doing a little bit more repetition. That's more for just toning the muscles and sculpting them a little bit. Don't worry, you're not gonna get bulked up. You'd have to lift really heavy weights for a lot of hours and probably take steroids in order to get bulked up. I just want you to start to feel those muscles working. So you should be starting to feel some fatigue within the shoulder. Breathe out as you lift, and then breathe out as you come back here. Now I'm starting to feel this, but I do lift weights and stuff, so if you're feeling it sooner and you need to take those weights out of it, take those weights out of it. And just move your arms through the range of motion. All right, one more. Good, roll it out, good. All right, so we're gonna go a little bit more into your shoulder, but also into your chest. So again, I'm gonna show you the movement without the weight, so watch me first. It's like your arms are making goal posts. Weights are here. In, out, up, and down. Now, if that up bothers your shoulder, take it lower if you need to, all right? So, adding the weights in. in and out, and my weights are going a little bit to the front, not directly over my head. In, trying to get those arms together, and up. All right, we're gonna take it to tempo. In, out, up, down. Now, taking your hands over your head like this, your heart rate's gonna go up naturally. If it gets to be too much, take that weight out of your hands. And up. And up. Breathe out here and breathe out here. We're going to do four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And up. Good. Woo! Roll those shoulders out. All right. We're going to go into our upper back and the side of our back. So I'm going to scoot a little bit forward. I'm going to lean a little forward again. I'm going to do it without weights to start off with. So you're going to start off with your palms up, and then we're going to flip palms down as we pull back. So watch me. So it's back. Arms stay low and down, turn the palms up high. 
and down. Pull palms up and down, palms down. I'm gonna do it a couple more times. I want you to focus squeezing here and then squeezing up between your shoulder blades when you're pulling up here. Make sure you don't look like this. All right, so I'm gonna grab my weights. We're gonna start off slow, palms up, shoulders down. Here we go. Pull and down, switch, pull up higher and down and switch, pull straight back right along your leg and then right up along the ribcage more. All right, I'm gonna take it to tempo, flip, pull, flip, pull, flip, pull, flip, pull, flip, low, high. So this is a low row, high row. Pull the navel in and high and low and high and low and high and low and high. Four more and low and high and low and high. Two more and low and high. One more and low and high. Good. Roll it out. All right. Sitting back up tall again with your back against the chair. We're going to go into bicep curls. Again, I'm going to put my weights down to show you. I want your elbows in and then back into your chair. All right. So we're going to start off narrow, down, wide, and down. In, up, and then wide, up. Okay, pull it in, all right, so narrow, narrow, and down, take it out wide, up, and down, bring it in narrow, up, and down, take it out wide, and up, and down, bring it in narrow, up, and down, take it out wide, up, squeeze those biceps, all right, to tempo. Narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Keep going. Narrow, wide, narrow. Make sure you don't swing. Narrow. Now this is a stronger muscle, so we're going to do a few more of these. Keep going. Narrow and wide. And narrow and wide. One more. And narrow and wide. Good. Roll it out. All right, we're going to go into biceps and triceps now. So it's like you've got hammers. Squeeze it up and down and straighten and bend, all right? So it's in and down, but then we're back and in, all right? This one I'm gonna go right into tempo because it's back and in, all right? So we're gonna start off with the in, elbows in, so it's up, back, back. So it looks like this, straighten, Bend and straighten. So you're working the front of the arm and the back of the arm. Straighten and bend. Now I'm going to lean a little bit forward here and really focus more on that extension behind me. Because we already did the biceps. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Breathe out. Good, one more set. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that arm up. Squeeze that arm up. Four more, squeeze, three, squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. Good, roll it out. All right, we're gonna put our weights down, soup cans down, whatever you were using. 
We're gonna go into our lower body. We're not gonna use any extra weights or resistance for that. All right, we're gonna work one leg at a time to start off with. We're gonna focus on leg extensions, and I really want you to focus on extending, so I'm not gonna bend it back, all right? Shoulders down, back against the chair. So, back, extend. But I'm not just, I'm, I'm making sure that I'm bending my knee and straightening my knee. I'm not lifting my whole leg. My thigh is staying on the chair. But I really want you to focus on taking those toes up to the ceiling and squeezing that muscle as my foot is flexed. We're working the quads. One more set, breathe out, lift, lift. Left, left, four more, four, three, two, and one. Good, other side. Left, left, little bend, squeeze it up. Little bend, squeeze it up. Navel's in, sitting up nice and tall. Four more, and we're gonna go back to the other leg and we're gonna lift the whole leg up, straight leg. So we're gonna take it left, like we did in the warm up, lift the whole leg, toe to the ceiling. You're gonna feel your core engage more. You're gonna feel a little higher in those quads, into the hip flexor. Keep going, breathe out. Keep that back against the chair. Four more, and then we'll switch legs. Four, three, two, and one. Switch legs and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. Breathe out. One more set, and lift, lift. In this case, the set is eight. Four more, four, then we'll give the legs a little shake. Two more, last one. Good, shake them out. So that was mainly the whole quad and hip flexor that we were working there. Now we're gonna work inner and outer thighs. One side, we're gonna open and close the gate. Three, two, one. Open, squeeze it close. Open, squeeze it close. Squeeze it close, pull the navel in. Focus on the open, see how wide you can get it. Wide, wide, keep going. Push it away, push it away. Don't move anything else but that leg. Push it away, push it away. My hand's moving just because my leg is. Push it away, one more, switch sides. Push it away, push it away. Push it away, push it away, push, 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 keep going and push, and push, and push. Feeling that in that outer thigh. Four more, we're gonna go back to the other side, but I want you to focus on the pull in. And push, and push. All right, other side. Open, squeeze. Open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze. Push that foot into the floor. One more set. Open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open. Four more. Open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze. I'm feeling it. Go the other side. Open and squeeze, open and squeeze, open and squeeze, open and squeeze. Four more. Then we have one more set. Squeeze, squeeze, 
squeeze, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last two, last one. Good, shake it out. All right, we're gonna go into your abs a little bit seated. So I want you to grab hold of your chair and I want you to scoot a little forward. Upper back's against the chair. And I'm gonna pick both legs up. Now, if this is too high and you need to be lower, then be lower. And I'm just gonna float or kick like I'm swimming. Make sure you're not doing this, all right? You don't wanna move a lot in the chair. It's mainly the legs. Really pull the navel in. Keep breathing. Heart rate could go up with this as well. It's a lot of work, even though you're in your chair. All the control, whenever you need to control the big muscles in your body, your heart rate's gonna go up. All right, stop the flutter. We're gonna open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze. Open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Four more, four, pull the navel in, three, two, and one, good. Shake it out, take a little stretch. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of seated back work. These are called good mornings. Now, if you need some support, put your hands on your thighs. And we're just gonna start flat back, flat back up. Now, when we're stretching, we round up, okay? So you can take it, let me get with the music. And up, and flat, and up. Now, if that feels okay for your back, I'm gonna make it a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna put my hands in front. And just rib cage the thigh and then come up tall. Make sure you don't lean back as you come up. Just come up tall. Okay, I'm gonna progress this one more time. Hands back here. Forward. Now listen to your back. If that's too much, switch back to one of the other arms. Breathe out as you come back up tall. Two more. Flat, flat back up, flat, and flat back up. Good, roll it out. All right, we're gonna go into our getting up and sitting down. Class is in class until we do that. All right, push into your feet. No arms unless you absolutely have to. Push down, lift up. Yes, my head's gonna go out of the camera. Breathe out, push up. Inhale, exhale, come down gently. Push down, lift. Go slower if you need to. Push down, lift. Keep your head up. Make sure you don't let your head drop. Breathe out. Lead with the top of your head to the ceiling. Let's do two more. One more, and the height of your chair is gonna make a difference here too. And release it. So if you've got a chair that you're like, wow, this is really hard. See if you've got a chair that's a little bit higher, not a bar stool, but a chair that's a little bit higher that you're not going quite so far. All right, let's take a flat back, roll it up. Flat back, roll it up. Let's do one more and roll it up. All right, so we're gonna go into our standing portion of the class. I will see you standing up. Welcome to the standing portion of the class. You should be behind your chair. I'm gonna come out to the side sometimes so that you can see what I'm doing, but you should stay behind your chair the whole time. All right, so we worked a lot of the front of the legs and the sides, so we're gonna work the back a little bit. 
So we're gonna start off with the hamstring curl, just bending the knee 90 degrees, round then lift, round then lift. Now, hanging on to the chair as lightly as possible. If you can let go, let go, then you'll be working your balance as well. Lift, and I'm just bending that knee 90 degrees, heel to the ceiling. All right, I'm gonna hold it a little bit longer. Hold it, four, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, switch. Navel's in, shoulders back, and switch. Four, three, two, four more of these. Four, three, two, and switch. Four, three, two, two more. Four, three, then we're gonna do one more curl. Three, I want you to curl twice. So step, curl, curl, switch, curl, and curl. Trying to put that foot down as lightly as possible, but now I'm taking that heel more into my thigh. Pull up, extend, pull up, switch, pull up, extend, pull up, switch, pull up, extend, pull up, switch, one more. Some more balance. Good, shake it out. All right, so that was the hamstrings, back of the thighs. We're gonna go up into your bottom, into your glutes. Hang on to the chair. Lean just a little bit, keep the weight into your legs. Tap back. Imagine you're standing on a diving board and you're tapping straight back and squeezing the bottom. As you extend that leg back, you'll feel a stretch in the front of the leg as you squeeze back. Squeeze back, squeeze back, squeeze back. Make sure you don't rotate your hip at all, go straight back. If you were on a diving board, you only have about, you know, this much space. Keep going. Four more. And I'm gonna add a lift to this. My heel's gonna go straight up toward the ceiling, straight leg. So tap, tap, leave it straight back. So leave it there, then lift. Leave it there, then lift. Leave it there, then lift. Make sure you don't rotate your hip toward the ceiling. So keep those thighs facing forward. I'm hitting my fireplace. Tap, lift. Tap, squeeze, lift. Let's do one more each leg. Tap, lift. Tap, lift. Good, shake it out. All right, we're gonna work a little bit of lateral movement. This is gonna work your balance and it's gonna work your inner outer thighs. So we're gonna start off with just a step together. So I'm gonna step together, step together. See if you can go the width of your chair legs. If you need to hang on, you can hang on one hand at a time, alternate, or both if you need to. If you can let go, let go. Squeeze the legs together. Now see if you can go a little wider. But my foot stays flat. And my knees and my hips stay facing forward, so don't turn like that. Keep everything facing me. Big side step, big side step, big side step, good. One more, good, shake it out. All right, now I'm gonna add a cross behind to that. So start off by hanging onto your chair. So I'm gonna step my right foot over, my left foot's gonna cross behind. And then I'm gonna make it bigger. So I'm gonna just start off, step, cross behind, step, tap behind. Make sure you don't do this. Keep the hips forward. Tap behind, tap behind, tap behind, good. Tap behind, tap behind, tap behind. Four more, I'm gonna turn this into a curtsy lunge and I will show you what that looks like. I'm gonna add a little knee bend to it. So we're gonna step behind, dip down. Step, 
behind, dip down. Like you're curtsying to the queen, but I don't want you to bow, okay? I want you to go more straight down. Step, cross, bend straight down and up. Step, cross, bend straight down and up. Step, cross, my back heel stays off the floor. Cross, straight down and up. And watch this front knee. You should be able to see your big toes. So make sure you're not doing that, okay? Feel your body going straight down. Last one, straight down, up. Good, that was a new one for everybody. I've not done that one before. All right. So I'm gonna have you turn your chair sideways. This way you can see me and you can be doing the same thing as me. Now, we're gonna do some tight, walk, tight rope walking. Say that fast three times. If that's too much for you, you can just hold the tight rope and do the balance that way. Right, I'm gonna scoot back, so I want you to scoot a little bit back from your chair so that the chair is a little bit in front of you. Start off with just the weight closer to the chair of that back leg. Good. Now I'm gonna take a couple steps forward. If you can let go, let go. Now I might be coming out of camera with my head as I do this. I'm gonna hit my fireplace again. Imagine you're on a line and look at that line out in front of you. If you can let go, let go. If you need to hang on, then hang on. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And backwards is even more challenging to go toe, heel, toe, heel. It forces your proprioceptors to work, which determine where you are in space. Good, now I want you to hold that leg that's closer to the chair behind. Come up tall, outside arm comes in, nice and tall, breathe. If you can let go, let go. Bend the, bend the knees a little bit so they're not locked, but you're not bent. If you wanna deepen it or challenge it more, you can stack your feet. You want to go more, you can squeeze your thighs together. You can squeeze your thighs together and have both feet on the floor too. That'll challenge you as well. Keep breathing, shoulders relax back and down. Very nice, all right, shake it out. All right, so we're gonna to go to the other side. And we're gonna do that tightrope walking on this side. So other leg is back, and I'm gonna start back here a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna start even further back. All right, nice and tall. Just get the balance to start off with. Shoulders back and down, navels in. And we're gonna take those couple steps forward. You can look down to start off with. Not down at your feet though, you can look down a little bit out in front of you, letting go only if that feels okay to do. Toe to heel, toe to heel. And then go back the other way. Now look at that, make that line go a little bit more in front of you. Tightrope walkers are always looking more ahead of them. And just notice if one side is easier than the other. Then see if you can shift your gaze more out in front of you. If you need to put your arms out, you can put your arms out. If you need to hang on to the chair, hang on to the chair. We're gonna go one more time, forward and back. And again, I have no idea how much my head is coming out of the camera. All right, hold that back foot closer to the chair. 
Nice and tall, soft knees, outside arm comes in. Three. Letting go if you can, otherwise holding on as lightly as possible. Shoulders back and down. Breathe. If you're feeling good on this side, you can stack or squeeze the thighs together or both. Keep breathing, navels in, shoulders down. that good shake it out all right so we're going to use your ball for your tightly um rolled up socks now you're going to want to take your shoes off for this so if you need to pause the video go ahead and pause the video and i'm going to demonstrate with both in case you don't have the ball so i'm going to start with the socks and you kind of want to Stick the sock on the floor, kind of like that. All right. And you're going to just push into it, kind of curl your toes into it and push it forward and then back, forward and back. And you want to kind of try to push into each toe individually if you can. So if you're on the ball, and hang on while you do this. Really kind of push and let it go. So I'm kind of flexing my toes and curling my toes. And if you lose the ball, just go grab it. And I'm trying to push more into each individual toe. And this will help with a lot of things. This will help with balance. Um, this will help with your back even. Um, it's amazing what this can help with doing these exercises. Okay, so now I'm going to keep with the ball, and you're just going to rub your foot on the ball. So if you're on the sock, that's a little bit harder to do, but you can still kind of push into it, all right? And the ball's harder, obviously, so you're going to feel this more in the um, arch of your foot. Give it a rub and now I'm going to push my arch into the ball and I'm going to push it down and I'm going to release. Inhale, exhale, push it down and you're going to feel this, all right? This is a myofascial um, release for your foot. So if you're on the sock, I really want you to push your weight into that sock where you can almost lift off and put all your weight into that sock, all right? If you're using the ball, you're not gonna be able to put your whole weight on it. You're just gonna push down and lift. Push down and lift. And then move it around the arch. And if you've got a spot that goes, ooh, I want you to hold it there and breathe. And until it kind of releases on its own, and it will. If it gets too intense, then release it. Good, and release it and just rub it again. You can rub it on the sock too. Now just doing this five, 10 minutes a day will make a huge difference. If you've got plantar fasciitis, this is great for that. And if you don't know what that is, um, you probably don't have it. Um, if you wake up in the morning and the first step you take is killer on your feet or, or right here on your tendon. You might have the, um, plantar fasciitis. I've had it. It can come and go. It comes and goes with me. I've been experiencing it more with being home because I'm not wearing shoes with heels as much. I'm wearing my flatter gym shoes or my slippers around the house. And I have to try to um, remember to wear heels a little bit because that's why I always wear heels is for my plantar fasciitis because 
the flatter you, like you, if you've got it, do not walk barefoot, do not wear flip-flops or anything super flat, that's just going to aggravate it. So we're going to start out this other one, I'm going to start with the sock again, curling and opening the toes, flexing and squeezing, trying to push into one toe at a time. That's a little trickier to do. It's trickier to do with both of these, to try to really isolate. Trying to get into that pinky toe, flexing and curling it into the ball and then flexing it against the ball. All right, and then go ahead and rub. You can do it with the sock as well. Rub, rub, rub. Just to get the blood flowing. All right, and now we're gonna do that release. So if you're on the ball, just push into it, lifting up maybe onto your toes a little bit to put your weight into it more. Again, if you're doing the sock, Really lift your whole weight into it. Push straight down. I'm still feeling it with the sock. Not nearly as much as with the ball, but I'm still feeling it with the sock. If you really push your weight into it. If you're not feeling it with the sock, your socks are too fluffy. You don't want super fluffy socks. You want a tight ball. Now you could use a racquetball. Do not use a golf ball. <laughs> That's way too hard. But if you had a, um, a rubber ball of some other sort, if you had the stress ball like we use in class sometimes, that would work as well. It's a little soft, but it's not as soft as the, the sock is. And I'm going to try to find that spot. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to hold it. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. So again, the smile fascial release. If you've ever seen anyone doing foam rolling, you can do this over the muscles of your entire body, but our feet just take so much stress on them just because we're standing on them all the time. And you could do this under your calf, roll it under your calf. If you were sitting down on the floor, you could roll it under your thigh. You could roll it against your back if you were, if you had a chair that was like completely um, filled in here, you could rub it up against your back as well. All right. So put the ball and the star of the sock to the side. And we're gonna go into our active stretch here, or not active stretch, just our stretching. So, hands a little bit wider, shoulders down. We're gonna push the bottom back, straight legs. So again, so you can see me push back, shoulders down, but your back is flat. So make sure you don't look like this. Keep your chest lifted. Breathe. You can take your ears in line with your arms, but don't drop all the way through. Don't let your head come all the way through. And just breathe. Good. Walk your hands up the chair and now take a big step forward with that right foot and then come up tall. So I'm gonna to come to the side of the chair again so you can see me, and I'm gonna come on an angle so you can see me. Tuck under that back tailbone, and then sink straight down, just like we did with that curtsy. Back knee's going down toward the floor straight. You're tucking under, so you should feel that right here. If you don't feel it here, make sure you're not leaning forward. The minute you lean forward, you lose that stretch. If it's like, wow, this is tight, Bend the back knee more. If you're like, well, I'm feeling a little bit, straighten the back knee more until you feel it. Into that hip flexor and quads in the front. 
Step that foot forward, other step, foot steps back, tuck under, sink down. And again, I want you hanging onto your chair for this. I don't want you wobbling around trying to catch your balance here. I want you to focus on stretching that leg. Again, adjust, you can bend or straighten that back knee. Keep breathing. Good, bring it in. All right, I'm gonna go back behind my chair. Flat back down, inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll the chin. Flat back, try not to push through your arms. Use your back, roll it up. Really pull the navel in as you roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, flat. Exhale, round. Good, we're gonna hold this last one. Pull the navel in, shoulders down. Keep breathing. Take a breath in, exhale, come up slowly so you don't get dizzy. And roll it out. And we're gonna have a seat. And we're gonna finish Stretching. All right, so sitting up tall, bring the arm across, give it a hug, relax the shoulder and the elbow. Now we did our feet today, so I'm not gonna do the hands, but if you want to, you can squeeze and release. I'm just gonna focus on stretching the shoulder since we did that resistance training a little bit more. And switch arms, shoulders down. Good, and now I'm gonna give you a stretch for the back of the arm. Take your hand toward your shoulder and then lift that elbow up as high as you can. Now some of you might only be able to go this far, that's as far as I want you to go. If you can, I want you to push it up a little bit more and you're gonna feel that stretch here. If it hurts, drop it till it feels better. Breathe. And release that other side, reach toward your shoulder, back of your shoulder, and then elbow goes toward the ceiling as much as you can. If this is enough for you, you don't have to add that press. Breathe. And one side might go higher than the other, that's okay. Just take it for the stretch that it wants to be in. Release that, hands to the front. Open up the chest, shoulders down. Flex the wrists, breathe. Stretching through the chest and the biceps and the wrists and the hands, really spread the fingers. Good, bring it in, open up the upper back, relax the shoulders, elbows and hands, chin comes to the chest, navel draws in. Breathe. Lift the head up to, to center ear to shoulder. Back to center, other side, ear to shoulder. And back to center, good. Big breath in. Exhale it down, one more. And exhale it down. Very nice job. Thank you for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time.